Now at 11, inmate freed. All I had to do was just keep living. And that was my goal, to keep living, keep praying until I get out. A man convicted of murder walks out of prison a free man for the first time in 44 years. And a judge had originally sentenced him to life in prison, but when the law changed, he fought to become a free man. Good evening, I'm Rick Fulbaum. Eric is off tonight. CBS 4's Cynthia Demas spoke with him as she joins us live now from Coconut Grove. Cynthia. You know, this is where he grew up here. He and his whole family in Coconut Grove, just a few blocks down the street. His family wants to bring him here so he can see how everything's evolved since he's been locked up. And it's the evolution of his case that is so interesting. A few years ago in prison, he was taking the garbage out, stumbled upon a piece of paper, read it, and realized it was talking about a law that could change his life. My mom kept telling me, don't never give up. I mean, keep on challenging that rule, but you've been challenging. Prince Johnson challenged it, but his mother didn't live to see him released from prison. And all I had to do was just keep living. You know I mean? And that was my goal, to keep living, keep praying until I get out. Johnson was convicted of armed robbery and murder of a passenger in an ice cream truck in 1971. Johnson never pulled the trigger, but the law at the time allowed him to be convicted of felony murder and sentenced to life. The law today bans an automatic life sentence for minors. A couple of years ago, he was taking the garbage out in prison when he came across a piece of paper about three people getting released because they were sentenced as minors. Two years worth of hearings and motions and filings, and today he walked out a free man. Those steps to freedom came just a few hours after the judge made it official. With family surrounding him then and always, Johnson starts life, really, for the first time. True enough, the law put me here. God damn it. But the law didn't get me out. Believe that. God got me out. And he said he did do a lot of praying in prison. He is 60 years old now. He was 16 when this happened. He says he is a changed and very different person. And he said he's sorry that the woman in the ice cream truck, Miss Martha Roman, ever had to lose her life. Live in Coconut Grove, I'm Cynthia Demas, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Cynthia. Now